Hi, my name's Tim Just, and I am the 80-20 TD. 20% effort, 80% bang for your buck. This is part two of our video to teach you how to upload, submit, and check files for a rating report for the USCF online. Last time we left off, we had just uploaded the file. It had been checked by USCF, and we know there's some errors because the Submit Tournament button is grayed out. Do you want to know what those errors are? Remember, you need to go to your email address that you supplied to USCF, or you can come down here and click on the Validation Report. However, I have found in the past that just by clicking the Edit Tournament and checking out membership issues that I usually can cure any problem that the USCF found. While you're at it, don't forget to check over this information that's filled in in these boxes and make sure it's accurate. The name, the dates, uh, the affiliate, don't forget, the affiliate has to have you listed as an approved TD in order for you to submit this tournament. The chief TD, often the assistant TD information you placed in your files that got uploaded doesn't seem to get loaded in this box. It's a good chance for you to fill this in now. There are other TDs. Yes, you have to fill this other information in. That's kind of straightforward. Yes, there's other TDs. Uh, you can list them if they were not section heads, but they get TD credit. Over here, don't forget about the game 20 time control. If you're not sure what time control requires a regular, a dual rating, or a quick rating, it's all explained here. I like regular because that's what this tournament was, game 120. And over here, don't forget to check the dates, the section. This is kind of important. The default is non-scholastic. If you ran a scholastic event, don't forget to use the pull-down menu and check scholastic or FIDE or anything else, JTP or non-rated. You can look at another section by choosing it and clicking on fetch a section. We're not concerned with that right now. Right now, we want to find that one person that's probably not a member. By the way, notice this little blue box here? What that means at the color coding at the bottom is that those were buys. You might want to look that information over. There's all sorts of color coding here. And if you find an error, you'll be able to point, click, and change the information so that it's accurate. However, let's scroll on up and find our player who's currently not a member. That player at this moment could be chosen to add in a $12 tournament membership fee. What other choices do you have? Well, if you don't do that right away, you can scroll to the bottom, go to Membership Exception Requests, and if you wait a moment, the screen should pop up. I'm going to have a sip of coffee here. There we go. The rule explaining memberships is listed, and house players rules are listed. I only have one player who has a problem with a membership. I can tell by scrolling all the way down. This player has several choices. They could be a house player. Check this box if they were a house player. Check this box if they were a JTP exception. Check this box if they were a foreign FIDE title player. These three check marks will allow you to submit the tournament almost instantly without any problems. These check boxes for, uh, will have to be submitted to USCF and often they will have to decide whether or not to rate your tournament despite the non-membership. For instance, you might have to wait for someone to send a membership in. The player might have to go online or send in a check. Uh, they might have a receipt from another organization, the player that allegedly is not a member, and you're going to need to fill that information in and USCF will have to decide if they're going to let your tournament be rated before this information gets to them. However, I really don't want to do any of that because why? Well, Mr. Brock actually gave me some money. By the way, save every five minutes or so if you're doing any extensive editing work. Otherwise, you'll be locked out of the site. I'm going to return to the editing of, editing of this event. I'm going to then scroll down. I'm going to find this player that has the membership problem. I'm going to add $12 to my rating fee. That's pretty easy, huh, folks? Scroll all the way down. 
save the changes if you forget to save the changes you're still not going to be able to submit the tournament and you're going to have to come back to the screen and save the changes at some point before this tournament can be rated we're going to go back to the same screen we were just looking at we're going to scroll down again and this time we need to check the tournament while you might have made some changes the tournament still hasn't been checked if it's a small event like this one a mere 72 players it shouldn't take long to check this tournament you might recall that an email will be sent to you telling you if this is past validation or not but we know a little secret we're gonna to return to the original screen here we're gonna scroll down and we know that as soon as it says submit tournament we have no more problems it also says ready to submit that's also another big key factor if you have several events don't forget to check them all and make sure you're using the right event to submit. If the affiliate's going to pay for the tournament, you'll need to check this box and click here, and you as the TD will be done. If you as the tournament director are going to be submitting the tournament and paying for it, this is the box you want to check. Submit tournament. And all you need to do now is check this information. Yep, the affiliate's right. Uh, event have a TLA this event did not so I'm going to have to check no printed cross table no Grand Prix no you can give some money to the professional players health and benefit fund on this screen let's compute the total due most people don't contribute to the professional health and benefit players fund but feel free to do so I'm gonna scroll on down and you'll see that there's the twelve dollars for that non-member who became a tournament member there's the forty dollar rating fee and our total due is fifty two dollars I checked that I want to use the credit card you can fill out the credit card information here don't forget to check your compliance don't forget to change this information if it's inaccurate submitting TD submitting TD name don't forget to fill this information out of someone won two thousand dollars or more that affects their player rating it affects their bottom line submit the event for a rating I won't click this here because everything after this is pretty straightforward and involves your credit card information and my credit card information Thanks for listening to part two. I hope that your events all run smoothly and they all get rated 10 minutes after the event is over. This has been Tim Just, a national tournament director who believes he is the 8020 TD.